The story begins by showing the events back when Dom and Brian were stealing a safe from a mafia group led by Hernan Reyes. Turned out, Hernan actually had a son named Danton who tried to prevent Dom and his friends from stealing the safe. But Dom's impeccable driving skill had him beaten and thrown to the ocean. Plus his father, Hernan Reyes died after being crushed to death by Dom's car. Back in the present day in Los Angeles, Dom was seen training his son, Brian Marco or Little Brian, how to drift with his car. That day, Dom's mother visited their home for a feast. At that time, Roman, Ramsey, and Tedge were assigned to a mission from the agency led by Mr. Nobody to steal an item in Rome, Italy. They also took hand with them for that mission. Roman was assigned to lead the mission this time. At night, after putting little Brian to sleep, Dom got an uninvited guest who turned out to be a cipher, the one that killed Dom's girlfriend, Alina. Dom was shocked to see her but she came not to bring about the past. Instead, she told Dom that someone intended to meet him named Dante. Dante came to Cypher's headquarters before to find information about Dom's whereabouts and managed to make Cypher's men betray her by threatening to kill their families. Dom had to be careful because Dante was not just a common person. In the morning, little nobody representing the agency reported that the news that Cypher gave last night was true. At that time, Little Nobody said that the mission given to Roman, Tej, and Ramsey was never recorded nor sent by the agency. They were never told to go to Rome to do any mission there. In Rome, Tej, Roman, Ramsey, and Han carried out their mission to steal an item in a truck. Not to forget, Dom and Letty had also arrived in Rome to prevent them from carrying out the mission. Tej and Ramsey managed to take over the truck, but it turned out that the truck had been remotely controlled by Dante. After opening the back of the truck, Ted was shocked to find that the item in the truck turned out to be a bomb capable of destroying the entire Vatican City. They managed to stop the truck, but not with the bomb that was rolling across the town. Dom tried to stop it and lead the bomb towards the river to minimize the effect of the explosion. Unfortunately, Dant contacted the police and slandered that Dom was the criminal, even though Dom was trying to prevent the bomb from exploding. Letty was finally caught by the police, and on the other hand, Dom tried to drop the bomb into the river. Dom finally survived after he used the car to jump off the bridge. The news spread throughout the world that Dom and his friends were suspected of the crime and were fugitives. In the agency, a woman named Tess, who turns out to be the daughter of Mr. Nobody, was seen. There is also a bearded man named Ames, who was appointed to lead the agency during Mr. Nobody's disappearance. Ames was very sure that Dom and his family were criminals because they have all been involved in many crimes. He was very ambitious to catch Dominic Toretto and his friends. Different from Tess, she still believed in Dom because her father also believed in them. Dom met with Shaw's mother, Queenie, who informed him that Roman, Tej, Han, and Ramsey were safe, but not with Letty who was arrested and taken away by the agency. Mr. Nobody was missing, so they didn't know what really happened at the agency. Using a plane, Ames planned to find Dom using the God Eye, but it turned out that Tess had removed that tracking device so it couldn't be used. Meanwhile, at Dom's residence, Mia was guarding little Brian when suddenly, they were attacked by the troops sent by the. Fortunately, Jacob arrived on time to save them both. Jacob apparently was told by Dom to save little Brian and brought him to a safe place that Dom had told him before. Back in Italy, Tess met with Dom at a bar to inform him that the agency had changed since the leadership of Ames, who really wanted to hunt down Dom. Tess explained that the person who was hunting Dom is Dante, the son of Hernan Reyes. After knowing that, Dom asked Tess to save Letty from prison and took Dom to Rio de Janeiro to meet Dante in person. Meanwhile, Roman, Tej, Ramsey, and Han managed to escape using a container and managed to reach London. On the other hand, Jacob took little Brian away with his old car. They were having fun on their way. Somewhere else, in the agency's secret prison, Tess was trying to save Letty to fulfill her promise to Dom. In Rio de Janeiro, Dom met his old friend, Diogo. He also met Isabel, sister of Alina. Dante suddenly showed up. He provoked and threatened Dom with some of his armed men. But luckily, Diogo had the entire gang who sided with Dom. Finally, to solve their problem, they decided to do an intense race. Diogo and Isabel took part in the race, but before it started, it turned out that Dante had cheated by planting a bomb under Diogo's and Isabel's car. Dom was told to choose between saving his old friend Diogo or Isabel. Such a hard thing to choose for Dom who loved his family and friends. He could only save one of them. He finally decided to save Isabel and Diogo finally died because his car exploded. 
Following the directions from Tess, Letty woke up in some kind of treatment center and met with Cypher. Back to Dante, he used his sophisticated equipment to hack and take money belonging to Han, Tej, and Ramsey so they wouldn't be able to survive in their escape. Meanwhile, Jacob and little Brian stopped at a gas station to put on disguises so that they could get out safely from the country. Tej and the others were shocked because their money was all gone and they couldn't buy the equipment they needed to fight Dante, but fortunately, Roman didn't keep his money in the bank but saved some cash with him. They solved their money problem and now had to look for someone in London to buy equipment such as cars and others. Jacob and little Brian have now arrived at the airport and of course, knowing there were lots of CCTVs, Jacob knew that the agency could easily find them, so they rushed to get out of there. Meanwhile, Haynes found out that Tess helped to release Letty and Cypher from prison. At Isabel's house, Dom had a conversation with Isabel about Elena, and they both missed Elena very much. Knowing that Elena was a police officer who really wanted to catch Hernan Reyes, so Isabel knew that Elena must have a file about Hernan Reyes. In London, Ramsey took Roman and the others to meet her friend who is also a dark market items merchant. At first, everything was going well until Tej and Roman fought because Roman refused to use more of his money. Unfortunately, it turned out that Ramsey's friend betrayed them after seeing their photos on his computer and instead reported them to the agency. Back with Cypher, she managed to immobilize the guards and let Letty go, but because Letty still didn't believe in Cypher, which then led to a fight after a heated argument. Dom and Isabel saw Alina's file about Hernan Reyes and finally found the proof that Dante was indeed Hernan Reyes's son, who from a young age had suffered from mental illness. Dante became the owner of his family's property after his father died, and he sold everything except for one empty building. Dom decided to go to the building, but outside, he met Ames that tried to stop him, but luckily, the local residents stopped him. Jacob and little Brian managed to get on a plane to Portugal. Jacob knew that there were several agency members on the plane, so he lured them to the toilet and beat them there. After that, Jacob and little Brian prepared to jump from the plane using a small plane that Jacob has brought from the start. After they get prepared everything, Han took them to a place that turned out to belong to Shaw. Han tried to convince Shaw and asked for his help when suddenly, the troops sent by the agency ambushed them, so Han, Shaw, and the others worked together against the agency's troops. Dom arrived at the old building where he found Dante's headquarters where he tried to find information about Dom. Dom suddenly got a call from Dante and threatened him to come to see him because he had arrived at Alina's house to catch Isabel and taken her hostage. Hang, who had been following Dom, also showed up to arrest him. Letty tried to get out of the place however, it turned out that the prison was located in the middle of an ice tundra. Knowing there was no other way, Letty finally reconciled with Cypher. Shaw took Roman, Tej, Han, and Ramsey to his hiding place. Ramsey informed that Dante and the agency were now targeting everyone who had a relationship with Dom, including Shaw's mother Queenie, so Shaw had no other option but to protect his mother. Meanwhile, Dom had been arrested and was on the way to the agency with Aang when suddenly, Dante attacked their vehicle. Dante took Isabel hostage and threatened to kill her, testing Dom's patience and resulted in a fight between them. Thankfully, Tess came to the rescue and in the end, they managed to save Isabel who was being held by Dante. Dante used his cunning by shooting them all using Sniper. Tess was successfully shot so Dante got the God Eye from Tess's possession. Ames knew that he had made a mistake by catching Dom, and to make up for his mistakes, he decided to help Dom to get his son back and took the plane to get to Portugal. Jacob and little Brian had arrived in Portugal in Jacob's hiding place to wait for Dom. In London, after leading his team into failing the mission, Roman felt bad about himself, but Tej cheered him up. Meanwhile, Ramsey knows that Dante used the God Eye to track down little Brian. Sure enough, as soon as Jacob and little Brian arrived at the hideout, the troops sent by the agency caught up with them. Jacob finally took little Brian away using a car that he had armed with rocket launchers. On the plane, after finding out that Jacob and his son were followed by Dante's men, and knowing that there was no landing place near them, there was no other choice for Dom but to get off the plane by jumping out using the car. As soon as he landed, Dom led Jacob to go to the plane. But unfortunately, Jacob's rocket launcher jammed. Little Brian so recklessly went behind to fix it. Unfortunately, before Little Brian returned to his seat, Dante had caught up to their car and caught him. Moreover, Jacob's fuel leaked and he couldn't catch Dante with his slowing car. Finally, Jacob sacrificed himself so Dom could save his son. 
Soon after, two choppers showed up and hooked Dom's car, trying to slow him down. But Dom used his nitrous to speed up and made the choppers crash into flames. He then spoke to his son using the transceiver, telling him to use his instinct to decide when to jump. Dom showed an impossible driving maneuver to save his son back. Dom then went to the meeting place to meet Ames, but when he arrived at a dam, he was intercepted by two trucks controlled by Dante from afar. What surprised him was that Dante had arranged all of that in such a way as to lure Roman and the others to this place and shot their plane down using RPG. It turned out that Aang was also on Dante's side. From the beginning, Aang secretly entered the agency to help Dante and catch Dom. Dante was about to crush Dom using the two trucks but Dom didn't run out of wits. He jumped into the river from the top of the dam. After a nerve-wracking and near-death moment between flames and explosion, Dom and little Brian had to deal with Dante's bomb he planted on the dam walls that he triggered before he left. Meanwhile, Letty and Cypher were walking on ice when they finally get help from someone who brought a massive submarine. When the person showed up, it turned out that their ally is Giselle, their long-lost family member whom they thought was dead. In the post credit scene, Hops was seen doing a mission when suddenly, Dante called him and told him that he's coming for him.